What is up beautiful people and welcome back to another Pixar how to. Today I'm going to show you how to create six different edits using six different brushes. So let's begin. So starting off I am going to stickers actually and using a spiral sticker on our beautiful model here. Searching for our spiral stickers I want something that's cute and subtle and like little yawny. Bingo! We found it! So, placing it on top of her, like scaling it up to size, placing it in the perfect spot. And then what I'm going to do is click on eraser tool and erase some of the parts of the spiral so starting off with her face so here's the three you have to erase one spiral and then keep the other and then erase the other line and then keep the other so that it's like a swirl 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 effect Okay, perfectly polished and done. What I'm going to do next is go to filters and use our Polaroid filter there. And then I'm going to put the blur down. I like the colors of this, that's why. And then, time for brushes. Go to the rainbow brush and put the size up to 100. And then opacity a little bit up to like 30s. And then with one swipe, whoop, 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 you get a rainbow effect. And then I'm gonna get our glitter and then add some glitter to our pretty, pretty edit. <laughs> We're done, you guys. That's a before and after and Voila, two steps, three steps, literally took a minute. Loving this edit. Second edit is going to be galactic. So, I want this girl to have a black and white uh, effect. So, let's see what we got here. Go to brushes and click on your geometric like galaxy shape brush. What I'm going to do here is put the size down and then start by adding some dots of the galaxy brush things from her hands. Okay, there we go. And then while I'm editing, I'm going to put the size a bit by bit up so that it gives the effect of having starting with a little line and then like a big, big, big geometric like thing coming out of her hand like a superhero. Ooh, how cool. It's like. And then again, sparkles, adding, adding more sparkles to this edit. And voila. But I think a mask. Yes, let's go to mask. I will go to our bokeh. No. Artistic, yes. I want more stars. Stars, galactic. We love stars. Yeah. 
And that's it. You got a galactic cool edit. Number three, all things neon, you guys. First things though, filters. And then go to brushes and go to our neon brush. It's just like a normal pencil brush, but neon. Choose a color and then start editing and outlining over the lines that you want some neon. I'm gonna put the opacity bit down. Yeah. So starting off with the milkshake, I'm just outlining some cute lines to make the milkshake pop out. And then choose a red color to outline the cherry. And then now I want to choose a blue color to outline her jeans. So I'm going to test out two different ones. I think I like the lighter one. Let's go with the lighter one. And then just start outlining the jeans. And then lastly, just outline her shirt and that's it for the outlines for today. And then I'm going to go back to, I'm going to click on our neon hearts brush and add it to our edit. See, I told you it was all things neon. And we're done. Okay. Number four, glitter, glitter all the way. Going to brushes, clicking on glitter. This girl is going to a party and she needs to sparkle like a lot. So we're gonna outline, actually never mind. we're gonna like draw on her all dress, like full glitter. So just outlining the areas of her dress and then I'm gonna like start painting. With the same brush, I'm just gonna put the size down and then go to her eyes and give her some glitter makeup. Oh, so pretty. 
Also, the gold. I'm gonna choose the gold and give her some inner corner glam. And since she's going to a party, I'm gonna give her like a highlight with our glitter. Okay, since we put a lot of makeup on her face with glitter, I'm gonna give her some eyelashes. So searching for eyelashes in our stickers. Okay, this one is cute and not too harsh. So just adding that, scale it, put it on top of her eyes. And then just duplicate that Flip and rotate and put it on top of the other eye. So pretty. I am going to masks right now and give her a cute bokeh mask. There we go, pass it down and it's party time for this girl. Cool. Now for some retro and like 90s vibes. I will give her a border mask maybe and something like VCRE. Let's see. No. Hmm. Yes. And then I'm going to brushes and clicking on our glitch brush. Put the size up and then start drawing your glitch. Then going to stickers, I will choose um, an error sign and put it on top of her eyes get that like in trend eye look and then I also want to add some Fuji stickers like to give her an extra like retro broken TV look so just choose one and then scale it to size and all you're gonna do is blend it into this photo What I'm gonna do is start off with a filter, as always. Give him this black and white effect. And then I'm just going to adjust it, make it a bit darker, put the shadows and highlights down and up. Okay, and then going to our brushes, I'm gonna click on the pastel brush. And again, with the eye trend, I'm going to swipe it on top of his eyes. And then I will go to our shape mask. And I want to give him again this like kind of... Um, look and adding a pastel -y color like a pink pastel color 
and then putting the opacity up. And then that's it. You get like a stroke pastel paint edit. We're done! I just showed you six different ways to use six different brushes. You're welcome everybody! <laughs> Make sure to subscribe and watch our next week's video. Bye!